the western United States is experiencing the worst drought in recorded human history. According to studies, current conditions are the driest they've been in the last 1200 years. What's more, due to the consequences of climate change, this trend is only expected to worsen over the next decade. Water scarcity is a problem for many places in the region. Wildfires that were out of control destroyed millions of acres of land, causing agricultural failure and a drop in air quality. Fears about the mega drought have been growing for a while, but they have reached a fever pitch in recent months, as its effects on Lake Mead have been shockingly apparent. So let's dive into today's video and have a look at the latest drought condition at Lake Mead. But before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The largest reservoir in the country by volume reached an all-time low this summer. Satellite imagery showed the receding shorelines of the reservoir, while ground-based photographs exposed fractured earth and bleak gorges. The bathtub ring encircling America's largest reservoir, Lake Mead, has become an iconic image of the devastation caused by the drought. Now, fresh satellite imagery from NASA provides a unique perspective on the precipitous drop in water levels over the previous two decades. Lake Powell has shrunk due to the drought, and now millions of people are at danger of losing power. Photographs taken in 2000, 2021, and 2022 reveal barren gorges where rivers used to flow. Approximately 25 million people in the American West rely on water from the lake, which is at its lowest level since it was filled in 1937. As of the 18th of July, it had only reached 27% capacity. If you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, because if you don't, we wish you get stuck in a drought with scorching heat. So subscribe now! The managing editor of NASA's Earth Observatory, Michael Karlowicz, called it a dramatic picture of climate change and a long-term drought that may be the worst in the U.S. West in 12 centuries in a blog post. Because of the low water levels, boat ramps are closed and hydroelectricity is at jeopardy. They have also exposed decades' worth of concealed information. A second boat from World War II was unearthed from the shallows earlier this month, while a body in a barrel, thought to be a mob gunshot victim, was found in May. But what the drying mud has most vividly highlighted is the horrific toll of the climate problem and its rapid pace. Approximately 40 million people, 5 million acres of agricultural land, and the plants, fish, animals, and birds that call the riparian ecosystems home rely on water from the Colorado River Basin, of which Lake Mead is a component. We are now operating at 35% of system capacity. The system's collapse has been accelerated by over-extraction as well as by diminished snowpack and scorching temperatures that bake more moisture out of the region. The U.S. Drought Monitor reports that more than a third of the western United States is currently experiencing exceptional drought, and that hot, dry weather is still a real possibility in the next months and years. The federal government is urging states that rely on the Colorado River Basin to adopt severe restrictions in water use as major reservoirs along the river, notably Lake Mead, near critically low levels. However, experts on climate change see this catastrophe as permanent. It's a change in the system that needs to be anticipated and accommodated for. Perhaps reductions are on the horizon, but much more is required to keep the system afloat as conditions deteriorate. Arizona State University water law professor Rhett Larson commented on the Colorado River's reduction, saying, This is not a drought. This is aridification, as reported by the Denver Post. We can't put this off any longer. It's not something we can live through, he said. We are now a part of the new world. Changes in Lake Mead's water level since 2019 Both reservoirs are currently only approximately 25% full, and as a result, life from before the drought is beginning to show signs of returning. Due to the lowered water levels, a murder victim's bones from the 1960s were recently discovered with sunken boats and World War II period landing craft. It has also shed light on previously unknown national treasures, such as the Gregory Natural Bridge near Lake Powell. The declining reservoir levels, which threaten water for agriculture, people, and electricity, are the outcome of a mega drought that has gripped the Southwest for more than two decades. Extreme drought, such as the kind that leads to revolution and widespread change, is highly unusual in the climate record, Eden said. 
The whole state of Arizona is currently in a drought, according to the weekly nationwide U.S. Drought Monitor data. Coconino County, which includes the area nearest to Lake Powell and parts of the Mojave Valley near Lake Mead, are also experiencing severe drought. How do states cope with the water crisis? In 2017, a water deficit was declared for the lower basin by the United States Department of the Interior, leading to mandatory reductions for the first time under emergency standards developed in 2007 in response to the drought. The cuts, under a Tier 1 shortage, mostly fell on Arizona and Nevada, which will again face substantial reductions in water supplies as Tier 2 shortfall restrictions take effect in 2023. In response to critically low reservoir conditions at Lakes Mead and Powell, the Interior Department announced increased reductions earlier this month. Arizona is scheduled to receive 21% less water than it is regularly given next year, while Nevada and Mexico lose 8% and 7% respectively. More than $12 billion from President Joe Biden's infrastructure law and the recently passed Inflation Reduction Act is intended to improve Western water and power infrastructure and address challenges brought on by the drought. This is in response to the water shortage, which has already led to practical changes as states take serious steps to conserve resources. Decorative grass has been outlawed and water cops patrol the streets of Southern Nevada looking for signs of illegal dumping. The majority of the cutback in Arizona comes from a canal that provides drinking water to the majority of the state's population and is essential to the growth of Phoenix and Tucson, the two largest cities in the state. Both years, California was exempt from federal cuts. The Colorado River is the state's primary source of yearly water allocation, supplying between a quarter and a third of the state's total water supply to its southern region. 600,000 acres of farmland in Southern California benefit from irrigation and hydroelectric power generated by water diverted from the river through two large canals that pour into the region. California's agricultural sector faces massive losses due to reduced water availability even without federal budget cuts. So this was all related to the drought update at Lake Mead. We hope you enjoyed our video. If yes, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because no one wants to get stuck in a drought, so you better subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.